What's up guys, Nepenthes here, and welcome back to another FIFA 23 video. It is 6 p.m., it is Sunday, and I am on a brand new PC. Uh, so first of all, shout out to uh, <clears throat> PC Specialist for this amazing PC that they've hooked me up with. I will do a full breakdown and review on it at some point in the very near future on all the bits that they've put in it, uh, how good it is, and so on and so forth. So not add here. <laughs> Not yet anyway, but uh, finally got it up and running. And uh, second of all, uh, if that means that there's, a, there's some issues with audio or video, uh, my bad. Like, I've been, I spent all day sorting it out. And, um, uh, yeah, that's, that's where I'm at. Anyway, do we have new milestones? No, we do not. Do we have new objectives? No, we did not. Sometimes they come a bit later, though, so we'll have a little look. At uh, what we have. Ooh. Ansu Fati. Nothing new in swaps. Nothing new in upgrades. No new icons. Eto still beasting and feasting. Nothing new in advance. Obviously not in basic. So we have got Ansu Fati 87 rated position changed. Or out of position should I say. Uh, we've got the warm up is back. The daily login upgrade is back. And again always worth doing. Uh, Warm-up number two for a rare Electrum Players pack. Position modifier upgrade is back again. Fulcrug, Messi, Willow Kikardi, Mario Moriera, and Insigne still there. So Ansu Fati, guys, is the main one. Um, and then the warm-up two. So this is for a rare Electrum Players pack. And this requires 24 chemistry, two rares, 10 golds, same League Max 2, same Region Max 2. Wow. That's actually going to be... Oh, players from the same League Max 2, Countries Max 2. So you just choose one nation. It's going to be easy. I thought it was like players from the same nation, Maximum 2, but it's not. It's Countries Maximum 2. So just go for like England or France or Brazil or Spain or... Colombia or whatever you whatever you want because yeah 24 chemistry on that it's quite easy for a rare election players pack very nice we've also got Ansu Fati four star four star five foot ten he's got striker and center forward he has got good stamina really nice dribbling okay passing really good pace really good positioning and finishing decent shot power he's got outside the foot shot as well which of course is mad He's He looks very good. I'm surprised it's three segments. I can't lie. I think that's probably a little bit excessive. Oh, yeah. An 84 rated, including a team of the week. An 86 rated, including a team of the week. And an 87 rated, including a team of the week. Now, how long is that there for? 15 days. I have a feeling that the only reason why this is so absurdly expensive is because EA know that there is about to be loads of ability within this 15 days to craft loads. Otherwise, it makes no goddamn sense to make him that expensive. And in any sense, I also believe that EA shouldn't like alter the price points of players based on what might be coming. You know what I mean? Um, did we get anything new? Oh, we did. We've got another dynamic duo. Jesus Christ. What's this in? This is in managerial masterpiece. It's Brun Larsen. Wow. Compare him to uh, Ansu Fati. He looks crazy. Three-star skill moves, four-star weak foot. No traits. <sighs> really nice dribbling. Good passing. Really nice pace and good shooting with reasonable physicals. As a left wing, wonder what other positions he's got. That's not bad. Score four goals, assist four goals using Danish players. Score 12 goals. Assist using Nati in four matches. Win eight matches with Nati in your lineup. And Nati, guys, he's a Nati boy. Six foot one, three star, four star. Flair trait. Good physicals, good defending, good dribbling, good passing, good pace, reasonable shooting. Compared to the other two sets, like, you know, we talked about these yesterday. Dynamic Duo 1, Espino, good. Uh, Stuani, great. IMO. Dynamic Duo number 2, Duncan, very good. 
Uh, Giassi, okay, depending on where you're going to play him. Dynamic Duo number three, I think they're both very good. And I think Ansu Fati could be a good card. I just don't know if... Um, I don't know if he's going to be worth it in terms of price, right? Uh, so first of all, let's have a little look at what other people think. Yeah, it's about 50-50, and that's fair, right? And then the World Cup Challenge too. Yeah, brilliant, right? 85 uh, voted up because a rare Electron Players Pack. And save it, right? Save it for next week. Save it. So Ansu Fati is coming in at 300k. Do I think this card is worth 300k? The answer is no. Obviously, he gets that good link to uh, Lewa. Um, he's four-star, four-star. He's got a unique body type. I think... In terms of a chem style, I'd either go with a maestro, a marksman, or a dead eye. A dead eye for me is very good. Vision is very good. Short passing and curve are very good. Shooting is very good. Dribbling is good. Pace is good. I probably would play him at cam as well. That's quite a nice card. With a marksman, boosts up the dribbling stats and the shooting a bit. Maybe I wouldn't go for that. And then a maestro is the other one that I'd potentially go with. Much better passing, better shooting from range, big upgrade to the reactions, big upgrade to the dribbling. I quite like that as a chem style, or potentially an engine. Great pace, much better dribbling, and reasonable passing and shooting. Probably not. I, I, I reckon I'm going with a dead eye on Ansu Fati, guys. Um, yeah, outside the foot shot trait, which is brilliant. The passing becomes very good from like close range shooting, exceptional pace, exceptional dribbling, good. So I would, I would go with Ansu Fati. As I say, though, I think the problem is I just think he's a little bit expensive. 277k or so. Uh, same as Lewandowski as well. I think Lewandowski, like player of the month, is just a little bit expensive. When we look at these new two players, so we've got Narty as a centre mid, can also play left wing back and CDM. He's been given a really healthy upgrade. Three star, four star, six foot one. I mean... An anchor or a shadow on him. I mean, you could make him lengthy if you wanted to. And it's not the worst idea in the world because his dribbling is well-rounded. His pace is good. The architect gives him much better vision and perfect short passing with very good long passing. And then very good physicals with well-rounded dribbling, well, sorry, well-rounded defending, well-rounded dribbling and reasonable pace. I actually think that might be a shout outside of that. I think a shadow could be good for that DM role. I think an anchor could be good for that DM role. <clears throat> I think an engine could be good for that, like as a box-to-box -box midfielder in that centre midfield role. Either way, I, I think this guy's decent. Um, and then we've got Braun Larson. So he can play striker. And that's important, I think. Big stamina upgrade on him. Three-star, four-star as well. I think I'd go dead eye on him potentially so. Great short passing, good vision, really good shooting, very good pace, really well-rounded dribbling. Could give him a hawk to get those physicals up, get that shooting up, and get that pace up. Passing is not the best. Dribbling's good still. I quite like that, to be fair. A marksman. Yeah, a marksman's okay as well. If you're playing him a striker, I think a hawk or a hunter could be good. A hunter gives him, like, max pace and really good shooting. What's interesting for me is, like, I'll tell you why I really like this guy. is because I, I genuinely think he is akin to Ansu Fati, um, 87 rated. So he's got one less pace, one less dribbling, 15 more physical, same passing, two less shooting, loads more defending, but who cares? And then when you look at the split, Ansu Fati has five more acceleration, two less sprint speed. One more positioning, six better finishing, seven less shot power, one more long shots and then volleys and penalties, who cares? Two more vision, but worse crossing, worse free kicks, same passing, worse long passing and worse curve. He's got better agility and balance by a bit, but worse reactions and composure by a bit, and then slightly better uh, dribbling and fairly better composure. This really doesn't matter, the defensive stats at all. He's got five more stamina, but way less strength and aggression. I can't even lie, man. I think this... Like, I know that this guy's like way tall or whatever. Um, what is he? Six foot? Six foot versus 5'10", medium, medium, and 4'3", instead of 4'4", four, four, which, again, does make a bit of a difference. But when you're looking at this Ansu Fati for 277k, and then you're looking at this Braun Larson 
like eight games in managerial masterpiece. Um, I don't understand why the price of Ansu Fati is so expensive, unless, as I said at the top of the video, unless it's because EA know it's going to be so easy to grind and craft cards that everyone's going to be able to complete them in a heartbeat. So that is the content for today, guys. If you did enjoy it, be sure to leave a like, rating, comment, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And for now, guys, I'm out. Peace.